It is with greatest of pleasure that I welcome the Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, the Honorable Bastille Pandey. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. President of the Senate, Honorable Ganesh Ramdial and Mrs. Ramdial, Honorable Government Ministers of the Republic of Trinidad and my other parliamentary colleagues, Honorable Leader of the Opposition, I'm told that he is here in spirit, if only to find fault. Um, Chief of Defense Staff, Commissioner of Prisons, Commissioner of Police, Mr. Tyrone Gopi, Chairman of the Airports Authority, and Mrs. Gopi, representatives of the several airlines, tour operators, and other dignitaries, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It was not the Sydney Olympics. It was not the last World Cup football finals. It was not the United States presidential election. It might not even have been the O.J. Simpson trial. Nothing I can think of has been the focus of so much exhaustive discussion as this airport. Nothing I can think of has been the object of such intense scrutiny. Nothing I can think of has inspired such fiercely ill-informed speculation. Ladies and gentlemen, now you have seen it. Now you are here. Now it is here. Trinidad and Tobago's Millennium Airport. Trinidad and Tobago's Millennium Airport is here. And my God, what a struggle it has been. No, it is not a mirage. It is a reality. It is impressive and imposing reality. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my prediction that the establishment of this new airport will mark the start of a new era in the economic fortunes of Trinidad and Tobago. Because of the capacity and sophistication of this facility, because of the timing of the delivery of this facility, because of the country's burgeoning role as economic tiger of the region, given Trinidad and Tobago's strategic location in relation to Central and South America and the Caribbean and North, uh, and North America, we must now rapidly move this country to center stage as a commercial, communications, travel, and tourism hub, connecting countries to the north and to the south, and connecting countries from across the Atlantic and across the Pacific. For the islands to the north and for the countries to the south, we must make this airport and we must make Trinidad and Tobago the gateway to the world. I now charge the Airport Authority of Trinidad and Tobago and if Mr. Humsey would let me know who the chairman is next week or this week, um, I will, with the approval of the Minister of Works and Transport, charge the chairman of the airport's authority to proceed with full speed and with maximum effectiveness to get the users of this Millennium Airport installed and the facilities fully operational in the shortest possible period. Because of the obvious symbiosis between our new Millennium Airport and TIDCO, I would like to see the immediate formulation and execution of a joint marketing initiative to bring the world to this facility and to our country. The flip side of this coin must be a combining of the energies and capabilities of the Airports Authority, TIDCO, and the Trinidad and Tobago Manufacturers Association to work with the airlines that will be using this terminal to give made in Trinidad and Tobago products speedy access to markets around the globe. This will all contribute to sustaining and expanding the rising tide of prosperity 
that has been sweeping across this nation. I am confident that everyone here will agree that this Millennium Airport is a fitting reflection of this country's rising prosperity. I am confident that you will all agree that the operation of your new airport will add to that prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, ten years from now, after my third term, After I would have demitted office, the office of Prime Minister, many of you will perhaps look back and say, my God, what this country would have be done if the Pandey administration had not stood its ground and built this airport. I stood solidly behind the decision to build this airport because it was the right thing to do for this country. I backed the decision to proceed with this project because it was and is so obviously in the national interest. I supported the decision to proceed with the construction of this airport because it is so obvious, obviously, so obviously it suits our nation's purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, at the start of my remarks, I made reference to the unending old talk that this airport has been generating for such a long time. One even had the impression that this airport is to be given sole credit for the establishment of the local branch of Transparency International. After all the talk from people who are yet to see the inside of this facility, it is time to let this design masterpiece speak for itself. My purpose today is to receive the Millennium Airport from the contractors. And let me take this opportunity to congratulate the contractors on a magnificent job. I am told that the cost per square foot of this airport is lower than any other airport in the world. I accept this facility on behalf of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. At the same time, I hand over this Millennium Airport to the citizens of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, in whose name and on whose behalf this facility was constructed. Let history record that on this 25th day of November, in the year of our Lord 2000, the spirit of our nation soared to new heights on behalf of and in the interest of the citizens of our Republic. As Prime Minister, I vested the operations of the Millennium Airport in the Airports Authority of Trinidad and Tobago. This I now do. Ladies and gentlemen, I always say that when we Trinis unite, we win. This Millennium Airport makes Trinidad and Tobago a winner again. My brothers and sisters, as a nation as an, and as a people, I believe we can fly. I believe we can really fly and I believe we can touch the sky. But we must work and build one another together. May God bless all those who have contributed to the establishment of this magnificent edifice. You have made history. May God bless all the souls who fly to and from this airport. May God bless all those who use this facility. And most of all, may God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, we have just heard from the Prime Minister of the country, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. The togetherness of a nation. We are it's bringing to you live coverage at this time from Piaco, the official vesting of the brand new airport terminal to the airport's authority.